what is happening guys cowboy here and we're back so to continue on with our adventure before we head towards the big creepy cathedral i want to see what is uh where this up path leads and where that down path leads so this looks like it goes nowhere um go back no point in taking pointless fall damage Let's see where this goes Also to nothing, though there's an item that I can get to from... Probably got to drop down to reach it. Hmm. And that's pretty high up. Let me look here. High enough that I would go all the way up here, probably, and continue back where I came from. And run past all the weird frosty trees that want to kill me. Yeah, we're going to run past all the weird frosty trees that want to kill me. Sorry, Wolf. You're dead. I just want to get around the rocks. Just want to get around the rocks. Oh! Nope, nope. There'll be no howling today. Oh, man. They are killing me. Ugh. Nope. Dodged. And I'm gonna be dead in a second. Nope. Nope. Oh god. Need more Estus. Oh my god, it's a big wolf. Is that what happens if I let them bark enough and howl? Oh god, no. No, please don't. Don't. No. Oh my god, this thing is gonna totally butter my fucking biscuit. Yep, I'm dead. Okay, that was, uh, that was not fun. Note to self, running past all of the wolves does not end favorably for you as a player. Hmm. I'm thinking I take a longer approach to this, like kind of head back towards where... Let me do this. Rope Bridge Cave. So let's hop back to the snow field. We're gonna go there. We're gonna... I'm gonna run towards where the... Uh, the snow cliff first caved in. And then I'll just slowly work my way past the wolves. I might actually use the bow. I mean, I got a bow. It's probably a good idea to use the bow. It'll probably benefit me greatly, considering I'm getting just blindsided by tons and tons and tons of these things. I got 99 arrows. What kind of arrows am I running on this? Just regular? Wood arrow. So the damage isn't too bad. And this is, I mean, this build does have 40 decks, so I should do pretty respectable damage with the bow. Assuming I can still take them out in uh, a couple of arrows, I'll be in good shape. No. Alright, so this is where things cave in. Let's see how far I can run this edge. I feel like as soon as I, yeah, it's going to cave. Okay. So I feel like this is the ledge over here where I just fought. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can definitely do this. My soul's over there. Where does this lead? It's a whole direction that I can go. There they come. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Away, beasts!
butt ram me? The wolves have been purged. Alright, now I gotta take on the big boy. I see him up there. There he is. So what caused him to come down before? Is it just me killing all the... Yep, me killing all the spurs down. Come on, dude. If I can fight Sif, I can fight you. You're a fucking overgrown wolf that hits kind of hard. Alright, you asked for it, big guy. No, it's dead. It's dead. It's B. Yeah. Come at me, bro. See what happens. You're only good when you got eight other wolves helping you out. Punk bitch. Alright. Um, let's see. So, this looks like it curves around below. God, there's so much to explore. It's got my jimmies all rustled with excitement. We're gonna go this way first. We're gonna see where this goes up. Man, I, I didn't even like, I don't know if I got a bleed proc. It looked like that thing died when it was only about 50% though. Let's see, are those, are those just a bunch of dudes up there sitting? Oh God, tree thing. what you get hiding behind that shield. Some fire arrows would be fantastic right now. Guess what I'm gonna go spend some souls on? Frostbite builds very fast though. You have terrible accuracy, friend. For those curious what I'm using here, this is the Black Bow of Ferris. Um, back in the uh, Farron Keep swamp area, there's those three dudes uh, basically grouped up. And if you take them down, you can grab the Black Bow, if I remember correctly. But it's a really, really good bow. For dex builds, it's probably one of the best. Um, you know, it's got uh, B scaling and dex, 18. And if I remember, I think it actually has a faster shot than normal. Yeah, longer range than standard bows, but successful uses requires a trained, dexterous hand. So it is a little bit better than your run-of-the-mill bows. Large soul. What else we got up here? Follower javelin. That's so sweet. Can't get me up here. How's it feel to be on the receiving end? Let's look at this just javelin we just picked up. Uh, light spirit wielded by Farron followers. They're Farron guys. Balanced to allow for throwing. They attack in group skill. Hurl spear. Uh, emulate the practice of the followers by throwing an illusionary spear that assumes temporary form. Yeah, totally. Let's try that out. Oh god. Ow. Feel the spear. Come on. 
Down you go. And I just realized I didn't, uh... I didn't even look to see when this episode started. So that's just the path to get back up top. I want to mess around with that spear a little bit more here. C and E. So it's a strength spear. Very standard spear move set. And then the weapon art when you will throw it like a javelin. I'll be interested to use that on uh, the new tank character I made. It'll kind of give him like a Sparta-like feel. So they're chucking out uh, spears of people. I'm trying to remember, don't I need to, to put on something to rock report? I think it's swapping to that. Yeah, if I swap to that, I can use report. What do I have the strength on for? Oh, it's because of the C scaling. Yeah, um, so as I was mentioning, I forgot when I started this one. I think... Whoa, who's that guy? Are you Were you there before? I don't remember him being there before, but he has a really badass looking bow. We're going to pull him. That's a great bow. That apparently causes, like, explosions or something. My bow is better than your bow. Dead. That was like a mini boss and we were just like, cheese, cheese, cheese. So can I get up there this way? Is there a way to like jump up this? I probably have to go all the way around and then come back down to get there. Um, still trying to think when I started. I don't know if I'm at like 20 minutes in. We're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going, and if I need to split it up, I have to, and woo! Okay, this is not getting me on top of the cliff. That guy looks not fun at all. I think I can parry him. Let's see if I can parry him. This is probably a fucking terrible idea, but... Oh! Get fucking red Viking man! Oh, man! He hits like a friggin' truck. You want you want more of this? Oh boy! Oh my God! Wow! 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 What is my health at? Seven health. Seven freaking health for a Titanite shard. That guy was no joke. That damage was insane. I need to get no, you're not grabbing me, tree. Stop it. No more frosties. So this whole area is just filled with these guys, it seems. Uh, is that... Oh god, somebody throwing javelins at me from above? That's always splendid. Fire trees. Everybody's favorite. You're being summoned to another world? What? Oh, is it a way of the blue thing? It's a way of the blue thing, I think. Wait a minute. Is this? No, this is not the area that I've been through yet. Uh, 
Okay, so there's another archer up top there. Um, this has to lead up to that guy that I killed. I am the best hunter. Whoa! Oh my god! And that's a tree that just woke up. Yo, I really don't want to get anywhere close to this guy. That hammer is insane. Ouch. Like, a single hit is worthy of an Estus drink. I was like, oh yeah, this guy is a bow. He's gonna be a pansy. How mistaken I was. Heavy gem. These trees really need to fuck off. Alright. I feel like I'm getting around to where I wanted to go, though. Well, no, I needed to be, like, up on the cliff edge to get down. Hang on, no. I got turned around. This is where I wanted to go this way. And this is, like, the Dark Souls 2 DLC all over again. Just getting turned around from trying to go and Titanite Shard, Millwood Great Bow, and Millwood Great Arrows. Nice. And this is... Okay, so I've come full circle. I know where I'm at now. Let's take a look at this Great Bow. C.E. Great Bow crafted with black oak and wielded. Only specially great arrows can be fired. Millwood Knights use these to face their sworn enemy, the Abyss Dragon. Pierce Earth fires a great arrow with a burst of strength and a prayer that violently shakes its target and explodes on impact. C.E. Scaling. Pretty cool. Alright, um, so I only got one Estus. Thankfully I had a recharge. Um, this will drop me back down. Mm. I'm not feeling too confident about taking on more of these Viking dudes, but I feel like that's the, that's the way to go from here. So let's, uh, Let's get risky and let me hang on let me swing around here see if maybe I can find a connection I think this might take me to where I wanted to drop down to get those items right here no there's another giant wolf I did not die to gravity Is the wolf jumping down on me? Is that what's happening? I think this is the ledge I was looking at earlier that had the items on it. It's one of these ledges. Yes, here it is. Awesome. So I did make my way around. Man, large soul of an intrepid hero came all that way for a fucking large soul. Son of a bitch. Well, we made it back to the bonfire, though, so... Like how there's already people dropping down their sides. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we got past the Viking guys. Um, 
there's still stuff over by them. On top of that, there's this way, which we haven't explored. And then there's back by the first bonfire. So, uh, moving forward, I think the plan is going to be to... I'm going to try, emphasis on try, to sprint past that stuff to get over to the Viking stuff that was kind of in the general direction I'm looking right now. And then after that, I want to explore the area back by the first bonfire. Um, and then we'll continue on. So either way, make sure to stay tuned for uh, part two of our attempt on the Viking guys. Well, actually, part three of the, the Let's Play, but part two of Fighting Vikings. So anyway, thanks for coming by, and we'll catch you guys then.